So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at how you can get your code that's inside of a Git repository up on GitHub. So we're not looking at actually hosting this on GitHub pages or anything. We're literally talking about taking your code that you've been working with uh, locally in a Git repository and pushing that code up to GitHub so that it's available uh, to be seen by other people, uh, maybe in your team or publicly, uh, but just accessible in the GitHub platform. So the first thing we really need to do is go over to GitHub and create a new new remote repository. So we've already got our local repository inside of our Visual Studio Code project here. Uh, and we can check that by just uh, using uh, git status. And you can see we're on our main branch and we've got nothing to commit at the moment, but we're definitely working within a git project here. And so we need to get this code from our local machine into the remote repository. So let's create that repository now. Uh, if we click new here within GitHub, uh, you can see you're given some options here in terms of how you want the repository to be hosted. Uh, so you can either be public or private. And the other thing is we need to give it a name as well. So the project I've got here is just called new project. So I'm just going to say my new project, obviously something more descriptive of what you're actually doing would be good here. What we'll do is go straight down to here where we create a new repository. And what you'll actually see on this page is a lot of information about the repository that's just been created, uh, as well as some instructions on how to do it. So essentially, this is all we really need to do. So you can see here in GitHub, it does give you the exact instructions if you're creating a new repository, or if you're actually working on an existing repository already. So we just really need to run some of these commands from our terminal. So what we need to know is the actual Git address. And you can't really see that on the screen at the moment. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. But you can see here, this is the Git address of the new repository that we've just created. So you can see that up here as well, and we can actually copy it from uh, this little tool here. So just going back into the projects folder within Visual Studio Code, what we're going to do is tell this repository that's locally on our computer where it's going to be remotely hosted on GitHub. So as the instructions show here on the right hand side, we just say git remote add, and then we use the phrase origin to represent the remote server. And then we say paste in our git address, which we copied from GitHub and then just hit enter. So we're already on the main branch, so we don't need to actually move to the other branch, which is the second command there. But what we do need to do is make a push, which is where we take our local Git repository and push it up to the remote server. So simple as Git push, and then the U stands for upstream. So we're going to push it upstream to the GitHub servers. And then we want to push it to the origin remote that we just added a moment ago. And you also need to specify which branch you're pushing as well. And that will be the main branch because that's the current one that we're on. You can, of course, push other branches if you need to. So let's just push the uh, code up using that push command. And you can see here we get some output to say that the code has been pushed up OK. And if we just go to the GitHub project that we just created here a moment ago and refresh that page, you can see uh, this is actually the code that we've just pushed up, which is what we have in our local Git repository. So that's pretty much it. If you make any more commits to your code, you can push those changes up just by using a simple git push command. You don't need to add the origin and you don't need the upstream uh, tag each time as well. So you can just every time you've made a commit, say git push, and it will push all of those changes, all of those commits to the remote GitHub service. And all of those changes will be tracked and be available for other people to see. So that's pretty much it for pushing your code up to GitHub using the git push command. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.